Well, Miss McKellar from Bearsden Academy, she's coming to teach Primary 7 uh, for today and we're doing an experiment to see how fast the like, different types of sugar dissolve. We're learning new words like hypothesis. Well, it helps us because it's opening our science literacy and we could like use the words in our writing and like for future experiments. The Science Literacy Project was a project that we started two years ago. The aim, first of all, it came from the authority to try and deliver some of the literacy outcomes using science as the medium. A representative was approached in each of the cluster schools and at the academy um, to try and form a working group who could work uh, through the literacy outcomes to come up with some way that the literacy could be um, covered over second to third level um, and also to provide a transition project for the pupils as well. Because as a science teacher at the beginning, I, I didn't know what, how much role I had in literacy. Uh, and it was only when we started discussing um, investigations and how specific a piece of writing that is and the terms, terminology involved in vocabulary and the, the report writing that we found that that was an excellent vehicle um, for delivering some of the, the literacy outcomes. And it was felt that um, by the primary teachers that there was sometimes a reluctance to teach um, science because of a lack of um, confidence. So we felt that we could build in some CPD to kind of try and provide those skills or the confidence to the um, that our primary colleagues that that would be useful. It also meant that we could put in precision resources, including a PowerPoint, um, card sorts, that could then stay in the school and would be used for future years. In practice, we had um, a member of staff from Bearsden Academy come in and teach a programme of science for four weeks, which then led us through an investigative approach to science, looking at that vocabulary and um, making the links with the children so that they were aware of that approach when they came to the academy. Um, I was part of those lessons, as were the other primary seven teachers, so we got a chance to observe and take part and learn from that method. Then we were given the opportunity to teach it through a lesson and investigation with dissolving of different sugars, um, which we wrote up um, and then wrote a report on. The primary seven teachers continued this and wrote a fuller report on with the literacy focus. Then all the children went to Bearsden Academy, met with other schools in the cluster that were doing the same project and they celebrated their learning. Oh, there have been huge benefits um, for me professionally, you know, on an individual basis and for the children and the staff, we've got a much more collaborative approach, you know, we're seeing what other people are doing, we're sharing practice um, and it allows us to see what's going on in other schools in that sense and make us realise actually we are on the right track or learning from one another. When the primary sevens came into first year in the academy, we noticed a huge difference. It meant that we could do a much more rigorous um, first year course. Just the confidence of them measuring, of them talking about their science, of them making hypotheses, of them knowing what a variable was, uh, was phenomenal. We saw a huge difference across, uh, across the board.